All right, Shalom. First off, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Rakaq with Dash. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to the Aki I'm out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, um, going in on um, interracial dates, dating among uh, the Israelites. Okay, or um, interracial marriage. Okay. Um, which a lot of people, you know, they don't understand, uh, what the word race is actually about, okay? It goes deeper than, um, skin complexion, okay? Whatever the father is, okay, and the grandfather and, you know, so on and so forth, that's what that person is, okay? A person's race, okay? It goes by, you know, their lineage, their heritage, that, you know, that's that's what the tribe they are, okay? So, when you go into um, the Israelites, okay, Israelites were told, okay, not to make marriages with other nations, okay, Deuteronomy 7 and 3. It says, neither shalt you make marriages with them, your daughters Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt you take unto your son. Okay? So, as far as dealing with other nations and um, marrying them, okay, or marrying onto them, if I have a child, I am not going to give my child, okay, over to an Edomite uh, to, to, to have them marry. Now, as far as a um, an Israelite that um, let's say uh, wants to uh, you know make that woman a concubine, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, a concubine, okay, is a woman who lives with a man but has lower status than his wife or wives. Okay, a mistress. Okay, and it says in polygamous status uh, societies. Okay, and the, the Bible in, in ancient Israel was a, um, based off of polygamy, okay, which is one man having uh, multiple women, okay? Now, in this day and age, you have a lot of uh, so-called black women, okay, that uh, are marrying, okay, so-called white, white people. And in their mind, they think that they got a winner, Okay, but the whole time that that guy that they're with, okay, could could very well be an an Israelite, okay, by the uh, spirit, okay. But these uh <laughs> these black women, okay, you got a question whether these are, are actually uh, Israelites in itself, okay? And this guy, he looks like a a, a he could be a, a an uh a Edomite, okay. But the thing is that the black woman, okay, is is dealing with and and you got black niggas too, okay, dealing with um, you know, <laughs> Edomites and stuff like that, okay. But the the Edomites are giving off a a, a submissive uh, spirit, okay, when they're dealing with uh, a man, okay, the the woman. Okay, the Edomite woman is giving off a submissive uh, spirit. Okay, whereas though the the, the so-called black woman, okay, more often than not, is uh, you know more rowdy when it comes down to dealing with uh, her counterpart, which is the so-called black man. But when the the, the uh, woman ends up with a uh, when a black woman ends up with a, a, an Edomite man, okay, they're more submissive. Okay? This is um, Exodus 34 and 11. And women can't do the same thing as men. Okay? A man in, in the scriptures, okay, once again, the definition of concubine is a woman who lives with a man. Okay? But has lower status than his wife or wives. Okay? Women are not allowed to have um, multiple husbands, okay? Especially not in uh, in Israel. That was that that wasn't ever heard of, man. 
Okay, Exodus 34 and 11. Observe thou that which I command you this day. Behold, I drive out before you the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Hivite and the Jebusite. Take, take heed to yourself lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of you. Okay? And when you look at... um. When you look at, like, let's say, certain uh, celebrities, okay, like Blake Griffin, okay, who was just put on uh, ch child support from his uh, his uh, child's mother, okay, but it says he's paying $32,000 a year, okay, and who knows, he could be a could be a um a jake or whatever but let's say you know she's an edomite okay we know for a sword that blake griffin is an, an israelite okay but but this woman okay was it was a a, a a snare onto um blake griffin okay it says but you shall destroy their altars break their images and cut down their groves for thou shalt worship no other God for the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. And if Blake Griffin understood that, okay, hey, I'm gonna just pop this woman, man. This is just what it is. I might not even deal with this this type of uh chick, you know. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna just you know deal with this woman accordingly, okay. Instead of actually sitting there and uh trying to make a a, a straight up uh Marriage and, and having a, a, a future, okay, with this woman. The black woman to do this type of stuff too, because the black woman has this mindset like a like a um a a, a a Edomite, okay. But the black woman, you know, acts just like Esau, okay. So they'll put that man on child support, okay, because you know that the, the relationship has failed or they just want some type of money. Okay. But a lot of, often often more often than not when you're doing interracial dating, okay, as far as like a, a so called black man doing these type of things to deal with a, a um a Edomite woman, okay, more often than not when, when these guys are dealing with these uh women, okay, they're they're doing things to try to please them. Okay, and in, 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 in a corny uh, way, okay, just to try to get some um, some vagina, man. Okay, but like I said, a lot of these Edomites are, are more submissive, and you know, hey, who would you rather take your, your chances with, you know, compared to, to, to how some of these black women nasty attitudes, okay. How they how they act towards uh, their men don't respect them, okay? See, this is a a, a, a touchy subject for uh, some people, okay? But this is a, a subject that that has to be touched, okay? It says, "Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods." And do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call you, and you eat of his sacrifice. You know the, these bullshit ass holidays that they be setting up. Okay, a lot of these, it, it, it's men. Okay, these people need to beat to our drum. Okay, we don't need to beat to these other. Uh, especially if you're an Israelite man and you in this truth, you you supposed to have that leadership mentality. Okay. Hey, these women are gonna beat to my drum. Okay, if you if you my woman, okay, if you one of these, if you an Israelite and you you know the woman knows she's an Israelite and you want to deal with me, okay, well you I'm supposed to I'm supposed to teach you. Okay? Now you got these women, as far as the, the Israelite woman, like I said, who's in that heathen state of mind, and they they're they're nothing more than a woman that you would just keep around. Okay? So, so in a sense, these women out here are are the 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 
the so-called black, Latino, or Native American woman who doesn't know that they're Israelite, okay, and they want to deal with a man, they're basically concubines, okay? Because these women are, are in a, a heathen state of mind, okay? But if that woman is, you know, doesn't doesn't know that you, she wants to be, be with you, of course you deal with her, okay? Because that's what the scriptures say, okay? But you don't you don't go after serving these other gods and, and other ways of living just to try to please another woman, okay? It says, and thou, thou take of their daughters unto your sons, and their daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make your sons go a whoring after their gods. Okay, so so the Lord don't deal. He don't. He don't. He don't care for for that idolatry, man. Okay. Oh, here go. Hey, Deuteronomy seven and four. For they will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other gods. And this is what 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 King Solomon did. Okay. He had, he had a thousand women, 700 wives, 300 concubines, okay? And the sin that, that, that King Solomon did was following after the gods of these other women. Not that the fact that he had 300 concubines, okay, or he had more than one wife. It says, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly, okay? So following, if you're a man, okay, and, and you following after the ways of, you know, the so-called white man, okay, in order to try to get some some uh, vagina out of out of their woman, okay, and you you doing all these different things to try to, you know, please these women, you gonna get destroyed, man, okay, because these women are supposed to, we're we're Israelite men, okay. The scripture says, um, for thou art in holy people. Okay, set apart people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Okay? So as a, as a man, okay, the Lord set us up, okay, to, to, to be above everybody. Okay? And if, the, if you're dealing with a woman and she understands that, okay, then, then you deal with her accordingly. Okay, but you don't you don't have to, to, to bend your back, okay, or break who you are in order to try to deal with an, another uh, nation, okay? Heck, th these women don't even have to know that you're Israelite or know that you're in the truth. You just need to, to, to have the mindset that, hey, I'm above these women, okay? I'm not going to give my strength to no woman and, and, and uh, you know... Like, like making a covenant, getting getting married, and you know, going half on everything with a fucking Edomite, okay. Second Corinthians six and fourteen: Be ye not unequally yoked with together with unbelievers, okay. And it, and and this is a case of of being unequally yoked, okay. Because, like I said, the so-called black woman, okay. They they're dealing with these um Edomites, okay? And Edomites is is bringing out terrors into the um world, man. Okay? Esau is, you know, th uh there's a, a group called uh uh 36 Mafia, okay? And they had a uh a sect called the um Tear the club up, thugs. Okay, Esau is the original tear the club up thug, man. Okay, Esau is tearing the the world up. Okay, literally and figuratively. Okay, but the so-called uh, black woman. Okay, dealing with a, a Edomite. Okay, and the, then the the child comes out. Okay, looking like. Uh, 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 a so-called black woman or black yeah period black woman but then the whole time that 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 spirit that's inside of that black woman or black male okay could be the spirit of a, a so-called white man okay so the thing it really don't go by uh skin color okay that picture is kind of crazy 
But um, it says, uh, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord has Yahweh Shah with Belial? Or what what part has he that believes on an inf believes with an infidel? Okay. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has said. Okay. So so. If we are the, the, the temple, okay, and you sitting up here, you idolizing these, these women, okay, which these black women are idolizing the Edomite and thinking that they got a trophy Edomite. These black men are uh, idolizing the uh, Edomite, okay, thinking that they have a trophy Edomite. These motherfuckers are the devil, man. Okay? Interracial uh, marriage, okay, is... Israelites marrying and, and, and making these women, okay, equal, okay, our, our equal count counterparts is, is off, okay? Now, like I said, you can deal with them. If you already have a woman and, you know, she she's pleased to dwell with you, whether she's an Edomite or, or, or Israelite or whatever nation she is, okay, you don't just go out here and go, you know, throw your whole woman away. Okay, but you do need to understand that, hey, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is the truth. Okay, and hey, if you come into this truth, okay, and the, and, and the Lord wants you to, to, to be in this truth, more often than not, he's going to get rid of those, those, those people that he don't want in your life. Okay, so you may come into this, this truth uh, with a, another uh, partner, that may not believe in this word, okay, and the Lord may get rid of them, okay, whether that's an Israelite or, or whatever, okay, it says, uh, as Yahweh Shem Shah has said, I will dwell in them and will walk and walk in them and I will be their power and they shall be my people, okay, so the Lord is our power and most people can't, can't, um, grasp that, that concept, okay, that the Lord wants us is Israelites to, to live according to how he set us up from the very beginning. Okay, and what he want us, how special he want us to be. Okay, these other people are not special. These Israelite women, they don't understand how special they are. Okay, that's why they're going to, to a fucking uh, a Edomite and they're, you know, treating that Edomite like he's special. But them motherfuckers are going into slavery. And hey, we you can have these women. This is... Hey, this is Edom Esau's heaven, okay? In the kingdom, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have uh, Esau's woman uh, for ourselves, man. Okay, so with that, man, uh, want to say salawam.